I know I'm not the only one that mixes. I mean, we've all done it. We've misheard lyrics. And quite honestly, sometimes the misheard lyrics makes a thousand times more sense. Or, you know, it's not far-fetched from the original. Well, there's this one song that go that is a... It's an 80s song, and it is Video Killed the Radio Star. Well, is a video? Uh, hang on a second. Video Killed the Radio Star. Oh, that's the actual name of it. I, I thought that was a lyric. It's by the band called The Beagles. The Buggle. Oh, no, The Buggles. Okay. And this was released back in 1980. And from the album Age of Plastic. So this was directly the start of the 80s uh, decade. So basically the song is telling about, you know, back in the day, like, you know, the 50s and 60s, you know, the only source for entertainment for anyone or at least in one's home was the radio. Uh, you know, back in like the 30s, 40s, you know, the radio was the only source of entertainment before TV. And with that, you had a lot of songs that, you know, everyone was hearing, you know, you had, pretty sure the Beatles, yeah, you had, you heard the Beatles and, you know, the Rolling Stones, I don't know, you had all these bands, you know, back in the day. But no one knew what they looked like. This was before concerts came out. This was before Ed Sullivan came out, which is known where, who... The band The Doors and the Mama and Papas and Elvis, you know, this was before televised television, you know. So basically the song is telling about the death of radio because when people would hear the song, they were like, oh, wondering what they look like, all dreamy and having all these imaginations. And when TV came out, when video came out, you know, hence TV, People were mortified by the way they look like. Nice voice, but, you know, the parents was nothing what they, what they imagined. You know, obviously they didn't fit the bill. They didn't meet their standards. So, growing up, it says video killed the radio star. Well, I thought it said video killed the radio store, which is the same thing when TV came out, no one wanted the radio anymore. You know, literal radio stores closed down because no one wanted the radio anymore. And the only time you would get a radio is in the car or if you already had the handheld radios you took to school with you or you took to work because the work was al worked allowed you to listen to the radio. You know, whatever reason, you know. And, and like the sources to actually see movies was a movie theater. It's not home entertainment. So, video killed the radio star, video killed the radio star. Still the same page because when TVs came out, radio stores pretty much went out of business, you know? It was as if, okay, well, a handheld radio or if there was ever a radio at all, you know? Well, of course, when the TV was out, the TV was out and the radio was the only source of uh, connection to the world. But that was it, you know? So... The song was Video Killed the Radio Star. I thought the video killed the radio store. So, Video Killed the Radio Store. So, I, I wasn't far off from the truth because regardless, when MTV came out, all the TVs came out, no one wanted to listen to the radio anymore. That was if and only if you were in the car, you know. If and only if there wasn't places that didn't have TV. You know, pretty much back in those days, if you had a TV, you were the cool kid on the block. You were considered uh, within the times. If you didn't have one, you were pretty much sucking. Which is still happening today, you know. With the latest trends and gigs and stuff like that. But yeah, I truly thought the lyric was video killed the radio store. Again, it wasn't far from it. I was half right. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who thought that, you know, saying store instead of star, because they pretty much almost sound the same. And regardless of the matter, again, it the same thing happens. So. Still a good song, and it's catchy. <laughs>